A bright day everyone, Ms. Tess Madano here, our Legion teacher in grade 4. Peace be with you. I hope you are all safe. I hope you are all doing well. Welcome to our learning session 1.2. Our learning goals are to be aware of the importance of relationships and how they are beneficial. Recognize the basic characteristics of how to be relational. Our Benedictine value is still prayer. Please allow me to share with you the acronym of prayer. P. Praise God. In whatever circumstances in your life, we you should always praise God. R. Remember others when you pray like the end COVID patients, the frontliners, those who are sick, your family members. A. Ask for what you need. For God said, ask and you shall receive. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Why? When you pray, you will be ready for the day. E. Encourage others to pray. R. And recognize that when you pray, you are a child of God. You have dignity. You are made in the image and likeness of God. That is what we learned in our Learning Packet 1.1. Our Benedictine sub-value is sincerity. Sincerity is the virtue of one who speaks and acts from the heart and does things with a pure intention. In this lesson, you as learners are instilled with the value of sincerity and it should always be manifested in the way you deal with other people. How is life without family or friends? Would you agree with me that it is such a depressing life to be alone? Even in the creation, when God created Adam and Eve, God said, It is not good for a man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. From Genesis chapter 2, 18-24 we are, by nature, created by God to relate to others. There is a saying that no man is an island. No man can live alone. We need other people. As human beings, we are open and relational. We are most comfortable when we are connected with other people, sharing stories and emotions to other people. We are social beings. We express our emotions, attitudes, feelings, and actions. To wrap up our lesson, only a life lived in the service of, to others is worth living. A quote from Albert Einstein. We all have a desire to build meaningful relationships with others because it is innate in all of us as God made us open and relational. God did not intend for us to live alone. He intended for us to belong to a community, to belong to a family, to belong to church, to belong to a community of believers. This pandemic is teaching us a beautiful lesson that we have to slow down, touch the people around us, see the good in others, talk, laugh, and to love sincerely. Enjoy your gift of family and friends. Be an act of kindness and the light of Christ to other people. So remember to always think with honesty, speak with sincerity, and do things with integrity when you are on your way to success. For this is how we have been created by God as social beings. This is also how we will be redeemed by Christ as a people. This is also how the Holy Spirit is working in all of us, within us, as people of God. Because we are all journeying towards our common destiny in God. That's from CFC, Catechism of the Filipino Catholics, 687. That in all things, God may be glorified. God bless you all. See you again next 
writing session. Stay safe.